for simplicity is the shell. And this shell, the body is able to form an immunity to this type, to this strain of virus. Secondly, it increases the body temperature at night to about 102 degrees from the neck down to the groin area in the trunk area. Another way of, um, of attacking the virus is because there is what a new term, natural radioactivity. Natural radioactivity is what this um, product produces in the body. Natural radioactivity, which causes it to be able to kill viruses such as in brains and limbs and hard to reach places. Concerning the natural radioactivity, if you put a Geige counter onto the medicate, onto the substance, the ambush, it does not move to show that there is no radioactivity being emitted from the substance. But when you do a chest X-ray, there is a glow or a fuzz around the edges of the chest X-ray to show that there is radioactivity at the corners. The dose, 60 ml, three times a day for 21 days. For babies, it would be 20, and for ado adolescents, it would be 40 cc. I have given this to more than 300 individuals. I have not taken a census because since it belongs to the Lord God, he says, do not take a census. So I have just a basic idea of how many people I've given. Now, before I get to the results, the Almighty God has given me what is called the proof. The proof is right here. For those of us in the scientific community, the proof is at the end of each virus, there should be um, an amino acid valine. This was the original and the main one, valine. And assuming there were five amino acids at the end of the chain, it would be five amino acids with valine at all times. However, when the protease cuts these proteins, at times it cuts with a six protein, to which at the end of the six protein, the six protein happens to be an alanine or an isoleucine and not a valine. We, as a scientific community, had developed a drug that would attach at least to the end of the valine. This was our original, this is what we saw. But now the virus has changed to six with an alanine. Completely different virus in the same body. Makes it worse if the next time around when the protease, when the protease cuts, it cuts with three amino acids, and instead of a valine, it's an isoleucine. All right? So this is the problem we're making a drug, and two, trying to kill the viruses. The problem is, it changes by cutting the protein lengths at different places whenever it feels like. So, today, you get a valine and five amino acids. Tomorrow, you only get three amino acids and an isoleucine. A different, complete problem. A product rather. Now, it's also now more complex when these two um, strands of 
RNA slash DNA decide to have two different endings because having two different endings and with the intensity and amount of amino acids that are available to the disposal of this uh, organism, then it would be easier to win the power ball than to figure out which one is coming up next. This has been the problem. And this, the Almighty God says, is the proof to which the scientific community will know that I am, am speaking what he says. Because only he could have told me this because there are only a few individuals who knows that this is the problem. Okay, so now we have had the proof. Before that I said I had given it to, I had given it to more than 300, more than 300 um, people. So, what is the results of the 300 people? In giving it to an individual, I do not go through and take a complete physical. Has the doctors have already done that? They have all the charts, they have all of the, um, the records. So, what is of interest to me is literally the viral load and your CD4 count. In fact, not in the CD4 count as much as viral load. Because since ambush works, by killing the virus, then once you have attacked the virus and killed the virus, then all the other bodily functions will revert to its normal position. For example, when you give ambush to a person with a very high viral load of 60 cc three times a day for 21 days, in about the first five days, one can see visually the changes in the individual. They will tell you they feel different in the first five days. It works because their viral load in five days will be decreased to undetectable. Where the undetectable is of the scale 400 or the 50 depending on which scale that we're using. With the viral load going down to undetectable in four to five days, it now allows the body to recuperate itself and the CD4 count to start beginning to rise. Therefore, the general health is improved because that which was holding the body down is no longer holding it down. Um, I have looked at a lot of color of face of especially black people. Um, the ones that are high viral loads, there is like a black film or mask onto the face. This is because the melanin needing vitamin D, which is formed in the skin, is more so in the face because that is exposed to the sun. Then there is a black film on the face. This usually goes away in, an, in one to two weeks. For people not of color, then the coloration between the ear, behind the ear and the face becomes one. Um, I will look at another function, mainly in women, or in women, it's menstruation. One finds that women who are HIV positive seem to miss a lot of periods and sometimes have no period for a prolonged period of time. The reason behind this is that HIV virus attacks 